Today's passage is Luke 1, verse 39 to 45. It immediately follows Mary's visit by the angel Gabriel, announcing that she will be the mother of the Messiah. Let me read it for us. In those days, Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country to a town in Judah. And she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. And when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the baby leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit, and she exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why is this granted to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For behold, when the sound of your greeting came to my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. Mary has just heard from God about her mission, and I think we can learn a lot from her on how to step into our own calling from God. First, Mary connects with her community. It says she went with haste to visit Elizabeth. Wise move. She tells her news to Elizabeth, and Elizabeth confirms that, yes, this is from God. Mary receives encouragement, celebration, and confirmation from her cousin Elizabeth. When we believe God has spoken to us about our mission and calling, we are also wise to consult with others who love the Lord and know us well. Later in the chapter, it says that Mary stayed with Elizabeth for three months before returning home. I'm sure their time together continued to be filled with communication, encouragement, and equipping for what lies ahead. Mary helps us see the importance of connecting an authentic community with others as we live out mission. And a second thing we can learn from Mary is related to mission is how she gives full credit to God. Now, we focused on verses 46 through 55 in previous devotions and learned that they are Mary's prayer of praise to the Lord. Should we see that she praises God for what he has done in her personal life and circumstances and then reflects on his goodness and power in the past. We are wise to follow Mary's example in giving God all the credit for the work he does in and through us. Apart from him, we can do nothing of worth on our own. And then as we think about the upcoming Christmas season, I'm so grateful for Mary's example of living life on mission. She reached out to her community and she gave all the credit to the Lord for what he had done through her. Let's pray together. God, thank you for Mary's example. Thank you that she took your mission and that she was the wonderful mother of Jesus. Help us as we hear your call, as we hear from you to step into mission our, ourselves, to reach out to our community and to give all the credit to you as Mary did. In Jesus' name, amen.